What's happening live streaming pandas Peter Ron Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. It's called the Razer Keo webcam by Razer. They make a lot of gaming accessories. But uh, this one's got some really good reviews lately. And what you uh, might know is that I've done some live streaming and I think this is particularly what it's for. But there's kind of a gap in live stream cameras. You know, there, there's some really low ends and there really isn't a lot in the middle. And I have used a Logitech C920, I believe. There's one level up, like a 930 or a pro level and I haven't really stepped up to that it's a hundred dollar webcam and it works pretty well but if you've watched my videos uh, especially my live stream video you'll probably notice that to me the colors look a little washed out it has a little bit of like this soft um, kind of Instagram -y look and I don't really like it and I've tried a bunch of things with lighting and having a ring light there to kind of illuminate my face um, the other thing I've noticed is that you seem to need to really be about four or five feet away from it to focus right. Any closer than that end, it doesn't seem to get the focus quite right, which is a little weird because a webcam, you're probably going to be sitting a lot closer. Now, this camera, the Razer Keo, is right in that price point, too, and I want to show it to you here, but it has some interesting features. And so it's a sub $100 webcam, but it, it should pr um, produce uh, 1080p high def images but it has a built-in ring light which i think is really really cool so you can see it here it's like this polycarbonate ring light and it's white and it goes all the way around and it uh, hugs the camera which is right there in the middle there is this like clear plastic you can't feel those little ridges that you can see there you can't feel them and then uh looks like there's a built-in microphone with a little hole right there and as you can see it accordions out so you can definitely put this on top of your monitor you can swivel this to pretty much any direction you need which is going to be very much like my logitech it has nice rubberized padding here so it should sit in very well even this piece is rubberized and so you should have good insulation um, and isolation from your monitor very big it, you know feels actually pretty heavy i like this nylon braiding over the uh the cord the cable here which just is a um looks like a usb it even has a co cover on it so it's just USB compatible. It also has the one quarter inch uh, screw receiver here so that I can mount it on a regular tripod. Um, I will actually tell you that was one of the selling points for me because that's actually what I'm planning on doing. So I will show you that kind of in another video. But what I really would love to do is actually put this on a tripod and put this in front of my monitor, one, so I can control where my eyes are and what you're seeing because if you've noticed in my other videos because this the logitech sits above my monitor you know i'm reading your comments and reading um the dialogue and it's always looking like i'm looking down below you so that's one of the things i wanted to adjust here and then you can see we have some nice knurling on the side it really looks nice and feels quite nice we also have this little strap here strapado and i think this is just for um kind of taking up any of the extra slack on the cord so now the next thing we have to do here is plug this in uh, try it out I assume that there is a software option to turn on this um, the the camera light but I will also tell you this knurled ring here moves around so I'm assuming that's kind of a manual focus and I can't tell if that camera in, in the middle is moving in and out but we will try it all out so I'll give you the details as I'm trying it and then we'll compare it to my Logitech C920 and see if this is actually an upgrade let's give it a shot all right, guys, so I've got uh, the new Keo camera set up right here, and I've got the ring light on, and I've also got my Logitech C920 set up here, too. And I'll be honest, I've played around with them both a little bit here, and I'm not entirely sure which one I like more. And I'm going to kind of tell you that I'm a little surprised. I'm going to go run through a couple different scenarios here, change the lighting up a little bit, also explain some of the features here. But uh, when I plugged in the Keo and uh, the Logitech here, I've got the OBS Studio running, um, the, the Keo ring light comes on automatically. And now one of the things that I want to tell you is that that, uh, that turning bezel, that free floating bezel is to control the light, not only to turn it all the way off, but then you can actually turn it up or down. And so it's on a relatively low setting here, but I just want to show you, I'm going to turn it all the way down. So I'm rotating it counterclockwise and now that light is completely off, right? But if I go up here and I turn it, now it's on. And if I keep turning it, it uh, turns that, br that brightness up. Now it is a very white light. So you get the very uh, clear white light, not a soft or warm light, kind of on the yellow scale. But what I've noticed is, because I'm sitting so close, I think, uh, it, it's nice to be on, but just kind of at the lowest setting. Now, if I turn it off here, I actually don't think that video is bad, 
but for whatever reason I have a little bit of a red look at least on my screen here a little bit of a sunburn look and so if I turn this on it kind of um, kind of softens things up it kind of brightens things up a little bit but it seems to have a really kind of a uh, a, a, a bright uh, bend to it there isn't any OBS or not OBS there isn't Razer Keo software for Windows 8 um, or I think Windows 10 maybe I don't know I'm on Windows 10 uh, so I didn't find any application it's just you control in your kind of it's normal webcam software but here's what I want to show you I'm gonna flip flop over to the Logitech camera here and as you know the Logitech does not have a light built in now the Keo light is still on but I think if I showed switch back here um, the Keo to me looks a little washed out now that's a little funny because based on some of the other demos I've seen I thought the Keo uh, the Keo image looked better to me, even on the side-by-side -side comparisons. Now back to the Logitech, and this just looks a little warmer, a little truer um, to, to the colors that I'm seeing. This kind of looks like a bright daylight to me in the Keo. So right now, with the Keo ring light on, I am partial to Logitech. Now let me just go up here to the Keo, and I'm going to turn the, the ring light off there, so it's completely off. And now, I, like I said, I, I'm kind of get this red look, and I have some side light coming in here. Uh, from the windows so we do have some light here but I've got the room lights turned off now I just want to switch back to Logitech and it looks darker on the Logitech but again the colors look a little warmer and richer to me um, am I picking up more detail in the Keo I think I kind of am you know in the back it's kind of doing this low light uh, compensation as opposed to the Logitech but I'll tell you um, the Logitech looks a little better now one of the things I want to show you here is I'm waving my hand and the Logitech is, I don't know, tracks or smooths, and I feel like this gets a little blurred out. Let me go over to the Keo here, and to me, at least what I'm seeing, is a little bit better um, motion tracking. Well, you know, it just doesn't, doesn't seem to blur out quite as much. Let's go back to Logitech, same thing, and it just looks a little blurry to me, you know, versus the Keo. So I just feel like I'm getting a little bit more uh, detail and resolution in the Keo, but to me, the colors look a little bit less impressive. Now, let me switch the, the ring light back on here because I think this is where it's better. But again, compared to Logitech, it just doesn't feel as warm. Now, I could probably do some adjustments, and I was playing around with the, the saturations uh, settings in and the color settings in OBS. And this is kind of where I dialed it in. I thought it looked best. I will say it looks pretty clear. When I go back and look at this video playing on a different device and on a different monitor, I'll kind of make that final call of which camera I'm going to use. But right now, I think the Logitech looks warmer. Now, I do have, as and I showed you in another video, I do have another ring light that I have set up here. So I'm going to turn that on because this is what I've been using usually when I will live stream. Now, things get really bright here. And what I'm noticing is with both of these ring lights running, on the Keo here, I'm getting kind of the, the white washout. But if I switch over here to the Logitech, I think it does a little bit better job of handling all that light. I'm not getting kind of those bright, overly um, saturated spots, at least on my face. And uh, the color representation looks pretty good. See, you know, on the Keo, I'm definitely kind of getting the white, the white look. Now, because the Keo comes with a ring light built in, and because this thing will dial up here pretty brightly, it's kind of... Um, negating a need for a separate ring light in my opinion i've got the room pretty dark aside from the side light that's streaming in and i'm turning the the ring light down quite a bit to to kind of get it into a place where i think it's it, the balance is about right but even with that ring light um you know which is kind of replicating what the other ring light would do i don't know that logitech seems to be you know for me the color representation looks a little better but i think the keo has a little smoother motion pickup. Things get a little blurry on the Logitech versus the Keo. All right, so I guess to, to me, uh, my thing right now is I, I'm on the Keo. I love the fact that it has that ring light built into it. That seems to be really nice. I don't rely on the microphone on any webcam anyway. I use my own microphone, um, this FiFi microphone, which uh, tends to work pretty well. Uh, um, but between kind of the the motion capture and the fact that it doesn't blur let me see if I can demo this a little bit better this is the Logitech this is the Keo Logitech Keo and um, I think for whatever reason when I've got them side by side here on my screen that Keo 
looks sharper to me. I mean, it's got a better, a better um, picture. The resolution, even though I guess it's the same resolution, I guess if it's not, you know, smoothing out edges and kind of giving you that blurring effect, maybe it's just that's why it looks crisper. And I will say the colors don't look wrong to me. I guess just when you soften it up, it looks a little warmer, it looks a little more friendly, you know, just like why Instagram's popular. So I, I I wouldn't say one is more real than the other, but I will say maybe the Kio, the picture, the color to me looks a little bit more, I don't know, real world. There's just a little bit of that cinematic effect on the Logitech, which I don't know, is fine and has worked well for me in the past. But um, this to me looks like a home camera. And this to me looks like um, soft focus on a professional camera, I guess is what I'm saying. Now, they're about the same price point. They're both about 100 bucks. I think both of these are the best webcams I've ever had. And I don't know, I'm still a little torn right now. I really thought plugging in this Kio is just going to be a little bit, you know, Logitech got me here and the Kio would kind of get me there. Um, and I will tell you that uh, based on where I'm sitting right now, I think I'll probably be going with the Kio and uh, jettisoning uh, the Logitech. But maybe I'll just keep them both for a little while because I wasn't sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not totally 100% convinced that I like one above the other a lot more. But I think I do like the Kio more. So anyway, I'll just leave it there. Sorry to ramble on and on. Uh, not super conclusive in my opinion, but hopefully that helps you if you're picking one up. Uh, the Kio I got for under 100 bucks on Amazon. I will put a link to both of these cameras uh, in the description below if you want to pick one up. Peter Von Panda, out.